Hey YouTube, this is Appalicious here, and today I'm going to show you how to clean your Mac. So, there's going to be an application you need to download, which will be in the description on the side. And there's also going to be a manual way you can do this. And between the two, you should be able to clean your Mac so that ain't, there isn't anything that's going to be slowing it down, etc. So the first, you're going to need to download this application called Clean My Mac. It's a really great application made by MacPaw. And what it does is it scans your system and finds all the stuff that you don't need. So this is how it works. You click scan down here. So now it's scanning. And it scans your catches, uh, language files. And the cool thing is it tells you what it is. Like what, what catches are. Catch files are intended to make applications content load faster, but when catch files accumulate for a long time, they can slow down your browsing experience. So basically those are what catches are. And as you can see, I have a lot of catches that I don't need. <laughs> My goodness. So, however, this is the trial of uh, clean your clean my Mac, I totally suggest um, you activate activate it. It's $30 for a lifetime um, to get a lifetime warranty on it so you can have it forever. Um, and I totally think it's worth it. I'm definitely going to get that. So as you can see, There are 5.56 gigabytes worth of stuff that I do not need on my computer. So I definitely want to get rid of them. So you just click remove and it would do that. But I can't do that because I have the trial. So next is how to do this manually. So what you're going to do is there's three places you're going to need to go. You're going to need to go to users, system, and library. So you're going to double click library, go to catches, and you see this stuff right here? You don't need this stuff. When it accumulates, it slows down your Mac, as said in the description. So you, you, oh, you throw it in the trash, and you empty your trash. Yes. So it deletes it all, and the stuff that you still need, you just puts right back into your folder. So next, you go to system, library, catches, and I don't have much in here right now, but I suggest you do this daily so that it daily or weekly so that it does not accumulate um, sometimes it's going to ask you to type in your password um, so it's not a problem so sometimes the catches are still in use and so you still need them so you just drag them back into the folder But oftentimes the catches are unnecessary and are not being used. And the last part you're going to do is you're going to go to users, uh, your user, and library, catches, and look at all of this stuff, all of these catches that I have, and it. And then there's like multiple catches in these. It's just like, you've got to be kidding me. I do not need all of this crap slowing down my computer. So I'm going to take it all, drag it in.
into the trash. Empty my trash. And look at all of those items that it just deleted. Like over thousands of items. And some of the items are still in use. So you just keep them. And that's fine. But others are not in use. So you can just drag them right on back. And you don't lose anything important. So this is a great way to clean your Mac. So you should definitely download and purchase Clean My Mac by MacPaw. And that is how you can delete and uh, clean your Mac manually by emptying uh, your catches and getting rid of them. So thanks for watching. This is Appalicious signing out.